Now it is time to say goodbye to Brianna Chavez. And this is tough because although being on air with you has been such a fun journey and I've learned so much, but what the people don't see is in the newsroom, our desks are right next to each other and how many laughs we have daily and how much that you've helped me. I, out of everyone in the newsroom, Brianna has been the one that has really been there for me throughout and I'm very thankful. And yes, beautiful, and I am thankful as well. <laughs> I'm thankful as well. I feel like, you know, it's been a joy getting to know you as a professional, as a journalist. You're so talented, you're so motivated, you're so disciplined, but also it's been rewarding to get to know you as a person. You are a rock star. She comes in at like 3, 4 in the morning and stays sometimes to even 5 p.m. She goes above and beyond everyone and you're, we yeah. will miss you. And there's plenty of others as well. Yes, yeah. plenty of others. Hey, Brie, in case no one's told you yet, I'm proud of you. I really am, though. Proud of you. I am excited for what's in store for the future. Right now, just relax. Enjoy the fact that you don't have to wake up so early. I remember being an intern. You made me feel super safe here at KVIA, and I'm so sad to see you go. There was times when I was at the station, and <laughs> I wasn't having it, and you would throw one of your silly gestures my way, and it just brightened the mood <laughs> and set the tone for the day. I'll never forget how... Um, whenever I'd come up to you, ask you for help, always before midday when you're super busy, you never hesitated. ABC7 will forever be the place that we started oh. our friendship. You are now closing one chapter there and moving on to the next chapter of your life. I've been watching you do traffic on Good Morning El Paso, and I was always sad that that was the only way I got to see you and get my fill of seeing Brianna, but I'm really happy for you as a friend to see that you're taking this opportunity to grow. Wish you the best luck for wherever you choose to do, and I know you'll do great. You always put 100% in everything you do. I hope that your next ventures are just as fun. I'm going to miss you. You're such a delight. You have great journalism instincts, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen next for you in your career. I believe that I'm going to be working here without you. You've been here from the beginning. I just admire your work ethic so much. Love you to death. I will miss you, and I have seen you grow, so you will be successful no matter where you go. Uh, I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Take care. Remember you were back here? We were doing weather. I was teaching all the weather <laughs> secrets, so you know all the weather secrets, and then look what happened. You went to traffic. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, whether you do traffic, whether you do weather, whatever you're going to do, you're going to be great at it. You've done so many amazing stories and work to be proud of. You are an incredible journalist and an even better friend. Whatever you truly do next, you're going to absolutely bloody kill it, mate. I'm going to miss you so much, but uh, that's on me. I'm excited for what's to come for you. I love you, and I'll see you soon. And over these last two years, you've become such a great friend. I love you so very much. I'm going to miss you. I'll never forget the time that you first went on the air for a live shot. It was a fire at a recycling plant. Oh, my thought, God. oh boy, how's this going to go? And you knocked it out of the park, and you've only gotten better ever since then. I wish nothing but the best for you. You're such a cool person. Long story short, we're going to miss you. You're just such a loss to... KVIA, and I know you're going to do great things wherever you go next. So remember the days when you were a receptionist uh, back at KVIA, and look at you now. So wishing you nothing but the best. Grown a lot since that first day that you started, and you know, just your professionalism, your experience, and most of all, your confidence. You are one of my favorite Briannas that work here. I know <laughs> it's a sad day here, but it's an incredibly exciting time for you. Wherever you go, I know you're going to do great. I think the world's a better place with you in it. Congratulations on whatever your next move is. Come back and see us. Love you. As I got that last one done, Larry oh, little Larry. showed back up. And I thought he should say bye to you too, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That Could, was beautiful. Have done Larry, yeah, right? you guys. Oh, man. That was tough. I knew it was going to. No, this place is really going to miss you. Oh. I can't thank you enough uh, for all that you've done, for everyone. Me, Sarah, I think people don't really understand how much you really do here. Oh, guys, no, you guys are too kind. No, um, oh, I'm like, I feel like I'm such an ugly <laughs> crier, so I'm going to try to do this um, before, you know, the show ends. So today's my last day here um, at KVIA, if you haven't already guessed. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but uh, I, I want to start off by thanking everybody um, in that video, they've made me better peop a better person and made this place um, amazing. I want to thank our, our former general manager, Kevin Lovell, and our current uh, general manager, Brenda Dam the Swan, uh, for giving a chance to 
bright-eyed 21-year-old at the time. And um, I also want to thank our news director, Sean Flanagan, for trusting and believing in me uh, right off the bat, which uh, really, really helped. And um, I also want to thank my family, um, my parents, my sisters in the back watching. And everybody's been so supportive, my friends. Um, and I also would just want to thank you all at home, the viewers, for, for your kind and sometimes not so kind words. You know, sometimes it's going to be a little brutal. Um, but telling your stories, uh, especially at the height of the pandemic, was something that I'm going to take with me forever. So I couldn't get everything out at once, and I'm going to go cry in the bathroom right now. But thank you all so much for watching. Um, have a great week.